Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to stylize, kind of like an animation, but I want to show you how to add texture and movement to the outsides of a shape or an object. Let me show you what I mean. I've got a shape layer here started, and it has no movement, it's doing nothing. I hit spacebar, and it's just sitting there. And I want to add a little bit of style, I want to make it look cool. So, here's what I would do. Under Effects and Presets, and if you don't have that, Go to Window and make sure that there's a check mark beside Effects and Presets. In that panel, type in Scatter. When you type in Scatter, you're going to see two options, Scatterize and Stylize Scatter. I'm going to drag and drop Scatter onto the shape layer. You can drag it onto the, onto the canvas or onto the project window as well, but I just dropped it right here. The next step, if you're following along, is you can increase the scatter amount, and when I do this, I'll go really, really high so you can really see what the hell I'm doing. But you see what's going on here? Now we've got a very rough and kind of textured border, a little bit uh, electrical, so to speak, but it's not moving. Moving, pardon me. Here is how you add that. Go to Scatter Randomness and you left click on Randomize Every Frame. When you randomize every frame, now it's going to look like the outsides are in motion, although they are not. It will look that way. Let's go ahead and hit spacebar and look at that. Now we've got some texture, we have some uh, animation, we've got that staticky electrical look going on and we haven't even put this in motion. Now if this is too much for you and you're like hey that looks great but it's a little over the top, what you can do to dampen it is you can add a blur. So I'm going to type in blur and when I type in blur there's a few different blur blurs but the one I'm looking for I'm going to go with a Gaussian Blur, the more popular Gaussian Blur. There we go. I've got a Gaussian Blur. I've selected it, dragging and dropping it onto the uh, object, and then boom. Gaussian Blur is now in the effects control panels. I'm going to dial up the blur to like, let's go to like 10 and see what it looks like. Okay, see, it's not as sharp and crystal. I'm going to repeat edge pixels just at the edge there. And now let's go back. And when I hit play, we've still got that cool electrical staticky uh, hyperkinetic look, but it's a little bit muted. And if you just if you jam the blur up to like, let's go way up to like 80. Now we'll take a look at what we've got here. Look at that. We've got a very subtle sense of motion around the edges of the object using blur. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's motion graphics 101 stuff, but hey, we all got to learn this stuff. I know I did. If you want to see anything in particular, let me know. I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Thanks for watching.